The use of tools to benefit survival has long been understood as one of the hallmarks of what it means to be human. But recent scientific discoveries suggest that tool use is more widespread than we previously thought. Could non-human animals like chimps, dolphins, and even birds exhibit tool-using behavior? Let's talk about what a tool is. A tool can be defined as a device used to carry out a specific function, or as an object that has been modified to fit a purpose. Our hominid ancestors utilized tools that date back to over 2.6 million years ago. Over time, ancient humans made new tools to exploit agriculture, industry, and even technology. Eventually, this paved the way for modern day tools as fascinating and as incredible as iPhones and 3D printers. When many people think of tools, they may think of hammers or wrenches or any old thing that one might find on their parents' workbench. But a tool can be anything. It could be a rock used to crack open nuts, a twig used to extract grubs from hard to reach places, or even a sea sponge which can act as a shield from sharp objects. Animals utilize tools to preserve energy and to maximize their potential. Tool use can be separated into two distinct categories. Heritable behaviors, which are traits passed on genetically from generation to generation, and learned behaviors, which are traits gained by observing and by watching other members of a species carry out a task. The New Caledonian Crow is an awesome example of a species of bird whose tool use demonstrates a heritable genetic trait. These crows are able to bend and manipulate tree branches into hooks and barb sticks that can extract nutritious food sources, such as larvae, from hard to reach places. In order to determine whether or not these traits were learned or inherited, researchers raised crows in captivity away from the influence of adult birds. When placed in an environment where all available food was only accessible by assistance from tools, the birds raised in captivity were remarkably able to construct tools using twigs and leaves to retrieve food despite no prior knowledge of this behavior. Researchers were able to conclude that tool use in New Caledonian crows was in fact a heritable trait, or at least partly so. The New Caledonian crow is not the only case of such traits reported, however, as similar behaviors are observed in both woodpecker finches as well as birds endemic to the Galapagos. On the contrary, one example of tool use that has been linked to learned behavior occurs in the waters of Shark Bay, Australia. Dolphins found in these waters have developed a method of scoring the ocean floor for food while protecting their beaks from sea urchins, sharp rocks, and shells. The dolphins do this by ripping sea sponges from the marine floor and by fitting them over their beaks as they search. The sponge acts as a barrier between the dolphin's sensitive nose and the sea floor and has been termed sponging. The following video demonstrates this behavior. Sponging is a notable trait and is most often observed among female dolphins, although it is most often observed along mother-daughter female trait lines. This method of learning is remarkable as it demonstrates the first known case of cultural transference amongst marine animals. In conclusion, both heritable and learned behaviors contribute to tool use in non-human animals.